All right, welcome. We are going to do something really exciting today. It is a third concept where we're going to learn about when how to deal with when the same exact spelling represents different sounds. Now again, if you're here and this is the first video that you're watching, pop back to the very beginning, start at the beginning with the introduction and move along and you'll be here soon, okay? All right, so you want your big board again? You want your big board always because from now on we're going for big stuff and, and multi-syllable stuff and all of that. So what you're going to do this time is you're only going to put three lines spreading across the top of your board like that, okay? About an inch from the top. So three lines. And then what I'd like you to do is put this spelling, I'm going to move this guy over a little bit, this spelling on the top of each of them, please. So the last thing that we did, we were looking at, we were listening for the same sound, E, and looking at different spellings. Now we're looking at the same spelling with these two letters, and we're going to be listening for different sounds. It's kind of the exact opposite, okay? So under your first line, say the sounds as you write the word eat. E, T. Say those sounds. Remember saying those sounds. Hopefully you've been practicing saying those sounds even when you're not doing these videos, unless you're watching them, you know, one after another. Um, but once you aren't watching them, whenever you write, say the sounds, okay? When you're reading, say those sounds. So what sound do you say for this spelling in eat? What sound do you say there? E. Beautiful job. Under the next one, say the sounds as you write the word steak. Here is this kind of steak that you eat. Say as you write the word steak. Got it? Did you say those sounds? I'm like the sound police lady, aren't I? Okay. What sound do you say here in steak? St. A. So this spelling can be E as in eat and A as in steak. All right. Under the next one, say as you write the word bread. And be sure your B is a bat and then a ball and your D is a doorknob first. There's bread. Did you say the sounds as you wrote? If you said the sounds as you wrote, you'll know what sound you say right here. What sound do you say right here in bread? What do you say there? That's eh. All right. So this exact same spelling can be E like an eat, A as in steak, E eh as in bread. There's some other ones also that are not very common, but these are by far the most common ones. So I want you to number these columns, please. Now your job here is going to be different than the last sort that we did. You need to be a detective of listening. You've got to pay attention to what your ears are hearing, your mouth say in each of these words. All right. So here is the first word. You don't need to write it. What is this word, do you suppose? Say it out loud if you would. Okay, now you may have said sweet, right? You may have said sweet, but this is how we spell the word sweet. It's this E spelling, not that one. So it's not sweet. I lost my uh, eraser there. It's not sweet. So it's not E. Do you want to try A or E? Eh? Try A or E eh in there. Swate. Swate. Not a word, is it? So it can't be that. So now in bread, it's E. Eh. Swat. Sweat. So it is sweat. So sweat, bread, sweat. You hear that same sound? We've got to pay attention because they sound, especially as we get moving into this more further along, there's going to be a lot of them that sound very similar. So go ahead, under the column number three, say as you write sweat. S, w, e, t, sweat. Got it? Good job. All right. You don't need to write this. What is this word? What is that word? What do you think? Now, if you said trait, this is how we spell trait. All right, so it's not A here in steak. So you've got to try either E or E. So is it going to be treat, eat, trat, bra, trat, trat's not a word. So eat, treat, this word is treat. It's going to go in column number one. Say those sounds as you write treat. Let me hear you. T, R, E, T, treat. What about this word? What do you think this one is? You can try E and A and E. All right, see which one do you think? Which one? Okay. Did you choose Kyle? So heave, eat. Do you hear the same sound? Heave, steak. He, stay. No, right? He, bra, 
We don't hear it. If you just go to the vowel, it's a lot easier to hear. Heave, eat. Heave like something that you have to work really hard to lift up. So heave goes in column number one again. Say as you're right, heave. Let me hear you. E. There's that two letter V at the end that happens a lot, right? Well, let's do this one for fun. Okay, we have a different ending, a suffix here. Where do you think, what's this word? Have you got it? Once you have the word, where do you think it's going to go? Is it going to go in one or two or three? This word is heavy. Heavy. Where is it going to go? Now, I'm trying to trick you a little bit here. I'm being honest about that. So he, heavy is actually something that you have to heave, right? It, it takes a lot to um, lift up. It's the same derivative of this, but when we say ha, he, do you hear the same sound? The sound shifts because of that E spelling at the end. Isn't that interesting? So it's not, it doesn't go in the same one as heavy, does it? Or heave, no. So heavy steak, ha, stay. Do you hear the same sound? Nope. Heavy, ha, bra. Column number three. So don't let it trick you by looking at it, okay? Especially if you've been memorizing words. That's just going to be a habit that we kind of need to shift. Under here, say as you write heavy. <sighs> e, heavy. Makes me think of that song, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, which you most likely don't even know because I'm a lot older than probably you. Maybe not. All right, what's this word right here? What do you think that word is? You're going to try E, A, and E for this spelling and decide which one you think it goes in. So you do that, say this word, say that. Or you get G, R, E, G, R, A, G, R, E. Right? Put them all in there and see which one you think. Now you may have said, okay, this is greeter, like the Walmart greeter at the store, right? The word greeter is spelled like this. So it's not E. We can't use that one. Try either A or E. Have you got it? So greater is not a word, so it's got to be here A. G or eight or. It's going to go in column number two. In column two, say the sounds as you write greater. And let me hear your beautiful voice. Uh, voice, I should say voice. There's one of you probably. G or A T or. Greater. If there's more than one, that's cool. We'll hear it all. All your voices. Here's a word you may not be familiar with. So I want you to try each of these um, sounds, E, A, and E. What do you think? Which column does it go in? This is the word glean. You're going to glean a lot of information about the English code from doing Ebly. Glean. Get awareness of. Okay? Glean. Eat. Do you hear the same sound? Glee. E. Yeah. The number one column again gets this one. Say every sound as you write. Glean. G. U. E. N. Glean. How about this one? What do you suppose that word is? You might say pier. Now this is a pier like that you walk on out by the ocean and there's another pier you peer into the window, but not this one. So it's not E. You need to try either A or E. Hey, which column do you think it goes in? Choose one. You can put a, a little star where you think it's going to go and we'll try these two. The vowels are our volume so we can hold them a lot. The er always distorts the sound before it a bit. Okay, so if we sing it for a long time, you can really hear this sound. Pear, stay, pear, pear. Okay, so listen. Pear, bread, bread, pay. Look at my mouth, it even looks different, doesn't it? But that er distorts, but you really hold that sound, you can hear that A. Like put your hands up in the A, er, which they sing in, or they cheer that at these pro basketball game. So pear is the same A sound as in steak. Say as you write pear. This is like a, not a pair of socks, but the pear that you eat, the fruit. P A, er, pear.
hair. Be sure you say A as you write that, okay? Because sometimes your mouth doesn't really want to do that so much, especially at first. What do you suppose this word is? Go ahead and try it with E, A, and E. See what you come up with. Did you get wealth? It is the word wealth. Which column is that one going to go in? Wealth. Wealth. Eat. Do you hear the same sound? Well, eat. Mm. Nope. Wealth. Steak. Well, stay. You go just to the vowel, okay? Wealth. Bread. Well, breath. They rhyme, don't they? So wealth goes over here with bread. Say the sounds as you write wealth. Let's hear you. Woo. Eh. Oh, wealth. Beautiful. Okay, how about this one? Let me let you in on a little secret here, some new code you're probably not familiar with. These three letters here are going to be the spelling for G. You're just going to say G for all three of those. All right, so go ahead and try those sounds. Figure If you already know the word, try to figure out which column is it going to go in. This is Oh, that'd be interesting. This is the word. Let's. This is the word league. So if we said league bread. Now if we said leg, right? Leg is a word, but it's spelled like this. So if we use that a, eh, that's not going to work because that's not the right word. So league eat. Lee e. This one's really a popular one, isn't it? All right. Under here, say the sounds as you write the word league. L e. And be sure you write this three-letter G as you say it. Intrigue is another word where you'll, you'll see that. We plop that on the end. A lot of times this is G. These two together are G, like in the word guess or guilt or guard. Those two together are going to be G. All right, last one. Where do we think this one's going to go? E or A or A? This is the word bearing. I come bearing gifts. I come bearing good news, kind of carrying something, right? Bearing. Where is bearing going to go? And you can go just for the one syllable part of it, bear, if you'd like, and say this word and then say the keyword. This word and then the keyword. We're going to get those ears fine tuned and paying attention to what we're hearing our mouth say, okay? So bear, eat. Do you hear the same sound? Bear, eat. Not, not E, is it? Bear steak. Do you hear that same sound? Bay stay. Here it is again with that R after it. A lot of times, not always, this is going to be that A before R. Say under here as you write bearing. B, A, R, I, N. Mm. This is one letter, two sounds here. It's kind of like milk coming out of your nose. N. Mm. It's not an N or a G. It's a whole different sound. Let's do one more here. Speaking of here, what's that one? What do you think? Try E, A, and E. Now, if you're going with our visual pattern here, like in pear and bear, this would be the word hair, right? But guess what? Here is the word hair. This is how we spell A and hair. So it's not A. Where do you, what do you think that word is? What is one you want to try? E or E? Her, not really a word. Ha, ear, here, eat, he. So these same things here as ear, even though here it was air. And we looked at er, those three letters were er. We remember way back in the first video? All right, so here, eat. This is going to go in column one. Say those sounds as you write here. E. Er, here. All right, so when you see this spelling in a word, the vast majority of the time, there's a few exceptions, but most of the time, it's either going to be the spelling for E, A, or E. And about over 50% of the time, it's going to be E. So when you see these two letters in a word and you're not sure what the word is, try the sound E first. If it's not E, try A or E. Once in a while, it's going to be two sounds, but not, not a ton, okay? So most commonly E.
A and A are other choices. Go on a scavenger hunt and see what words you can find that have this spelling in it and see if you can figure out the different, um, you know, which sound is going to go with it, which is going to help you, of course, figure out the words. This concept, where the same spelling represents different sounds, happens with our vowel spellings, it happens with our consonant spellings, not all of them, but quite a few in the English language. So we'll start seeing that and you'll start noticing that pattern too. Also, in the, in the, um, at the bottom here, the links underneath the video, you can get to our resources and in there for this lesson, we have a webinar that I did called Phonemic Awareness Games. All kinds of games, anywhere from birth, which I do with my little grandchildren, all the way up to adults. Games that you can do with moving sounds around and words. Pig Latin is one of them that we did back um, toward the beginning. So go ahead and check out that, um, that webinar. It will give you some ideas of some other games to play because we need that skill of pulling a sound out and pushing another one in. If we read this word like hair, we have to pull out the A sound and push in that E sound. So that skill of phoneme manipulation, we use all the time when we're reading and writing and spelling. That's why we need to have it, so that we can deal with this concept in English where the same letter or letters represent a, a variety of sounds, okay? So check out that webinar. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you at the next lesson.